Kemper's last fight obviously yes. it didn't go the way you wanted to go. Did you think? Man. Did you agree with the stoppage? It was shocking. I, uh, Peter, listen, I'm a, and I wanted to say this: if Peter would have been the first one to hit um, uh, Jacobs, uh -huh. Jacobs would have been on the ground. But it was the other way around. I mean, had two punches going at each other, caught him right. You know, he caught him off. You know, I guess good. It was was it a cross? So he couldn't. I mean, he tried to recover. They stopped the fight. But I think, uh, like I said, Peter would have, if he would have put the hands on, on Jacobs first, he would have definitely, we would have won the fight for, by knockout for sure. He was in the best shape ever in his life. He did a real, real good camp and he was, uh, I mean, he was, everybody was in shock. I was in shock. So everybody was in shock. I you spoke to him, he said he wants to do it. He wants to do it, but he, he, first he wants to talk to Ahim and see what he says. He had trouble making weight before he got with you. He looked amazing. What did you do, Memo, in camp to make him get on weight so easily? Got to hold his neck. Nah, I just... <laughs> Yeah, what I did just change uh, certain habits, uh, food habits. Sometimes athletes make little mistakes. For example, um, when you when you controlling the carbs, right? So people said, okay, well, you know, I'm not gonna eat rice, pasta, but carbs also present in juices. So some some guys drink like six or four juices. So, uh, juices. So what what does that tell you? That's a lot of carbohydrates, unnecessary carbohydrates. So we have to play um, a very good. Um, Diet uh, with balance with carbohydrates, good fats, uh, of course training, of course watching them too because uh, boxers have a tendency when they're not watched, they usually go and do a little cheating here and then and the problem is that when you put your body in a good position for losing weight and you, you steady and all of a sudden you break the diet, your body tends to re-blow back up. So I, I got, you know, plus he did, he did train hard, three sessions a day, you know. You work with a lot of fighters and you transform a lot of fighters. Who's the most guy that you're most proud of that you said, you know what, I changed him and made him, what, you know, changed him around? Who, who are you most proud of? It's hard to tell because uh, Marcus, well, you know, I changed him a lot. Uh, Jen, he's already strong physically. He's a big guy. He's, I mean, his body's always solid. Uh, Lucian Boutte, which uh, we had a fight with the girl with, I think, with the great. Uh, I mean, I'm very proud of all of them because uh, every one of them puts a little piece of their they're so into training, they, they give everything out, and regardless of the outcome or the result, I'm always very proud of them. So it's hard for me to pick because, you know, I work with so many of them, and everyone is a different personality, everyone is a different person, and, and when you're a coach, when you really love what you do, you tend to be very close to them, and so it's hard to choose. <laughs> you know what I mean?